Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. Um, I'm, um, I'm doing okay. So uh, today I'd love to show you some yarn that I purchased a while back from, I have opened um, yarn from them before, um, and but I have a lot of new subscribers and I like to, it's a small business in Canada, so I'd like to um, show some of their yarns again. Um, first off, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, it's a it's a cool channel with lots of yarn content, and there are hundreds of crochet tutorials on my channel, and I do do them uh, weekly also, new ones. Um, um, let's see. Oh, and I do not have a pattern for this jacket. Um, unfortunately, this is knitted, and I don't knit, so whenever I want something knitted, I, um, I buy it. <laughs> this was actually hand-knitted in Canada, um, so now I'm doing my hand, or my unboxing from a Canadian, small Canadian um, yarn company, so, um, and the hat you can tell a store about. Also, no tutorial for that, but many, many hat tutorials on my channel, well over a hundred and there are cardigans as well. Um, so let's begin, shall we? Um, so this is, uh, like I said, based in Canada. Shout out to my Canadian friends here. Love, Can love Canada. Never been there, like to go, but it uh, uh, looks like a beautiful place. So this is from Belfast Mini Mills in Canada. So they spin and dye their own yarn. And they have some unique yarn that I'm gonna show you, actually one that's extremely unique. And if you maybe watched me unbox from them before, you probably know which one I'm talking about. But if not, I'm gonna show you. And I did get a couple uh, new ones here that I've never had before, so I'm kind of excited to see. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Um, I'm not affiliated with them, but there's, I'll put a link to their store below. Um, like I said, they, it's like, you know, I like to highlight smaller stores if I can by show, do, buying some yarn from them and, and unboxing them and telling you what I think about them. But I bought from them before and I absolutely, actually a few times and I know I, I only opened it on camera once. So, but, um, they have a very beautiful yarn, um, very decent prices. If you go to your, their website, um, their website is set up in Canadian dollars. So, um. It's going to be, if you're from the, the States, like I am, the price will be a little bit less than what it shows on their website because um, of the exchange rate. Their shipping is, um, I find it to be fast, especially coming from Canada. It only took about a week to get here, I think. Um, and they do have free shipping over a certain amount. I can't remember. Um, to the U.S. and Canada, it's hundred dollars or more ships for free otherwise it's fifteen dollars flat rate to the u.s or twelve dollars uh, flat rate to canada if it's under a hundred still not bad fifteen dollars coming from canada i mean i know shipping prices and they are extremely ridiculous nowadays <laughs> so let's go ahead and and look at what i got i'll show you i'm so excited to see it some of it I've seen, some of it I have not. All right. Okay. So. Ooh, that's soft. First off, I want to start with this one. Huh. Okay. See if I can get them um, get them correct here. They don't have the the pro or the uh. Okay. This is their rainbow hand painted worsted yarn. So you go to their site and you look at it. And it is 100% fine merino. It's a four ounce hank 
um, 250 yards of a four weight. Oh, look at that pretty colors in that. Smells clean, like clean hand dyed yarn, you know, clean wool. It's soft, uh, uh, merino. It's nice, very scarfable, and the collar is gorgeous. Now, I have had this before. Um, it's, it's very, very pretty. And that's quite a bit of yardage, I think, uh, 250 yards. Um, now, when you go to their site, it's going to say $22. And that is an extremely, extremely well-priced hank of yarn, especially, you know, um, hand-dyed. But that's Canadian, if you are like me from the States, that's Canadian dollars. So to us in the States, that's going to be $17.40. $17.40 for this. Excellent, excellent deal. And you'll, I mean, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful yarn. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. So uh, next we have, this is going to be the same. Um, but this one is called, the name of this one is called Peony. So again, it's got the same specs. 100% fine merino. Uh, four weight 250 yards and it again will say 22 dollars on her site isn't that beautiful that reminds me of my daughter she loves pink and purple i'm going to definitely have to make her something out of this um and again that to us in the states that's 17 dollars and 40 cents for uh hand spun hand dyed yarn in uh business in canada yes you can't beat that i mean you can't beat that and here's another one I'm going to show you. Now this one, the color, this is the same, the color of this one. Let's see which one, and this one is called Serene. Ooh, that's pretty too. I love the blues and purples in that one. Yeah, that's different. See, that has the purples and pinks. I've never had this one. I can't believe I've never had that one. I think I might have had this one before. Maybe they didn't have that one at the time when I purchased it. This is beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Very, very pretty yarn. I mean, I highly recommend this store, and I did recommend it highly before because of the price is remarkable for it being hand dyed, and you're supporting a, a smaller business, and the shipping is very uh, reasonable, and it's free if you spend you know over a hundred dollars to the U.S. And remember. Um, it's just, it's nice yarn. I got, I got more to show you. I got some more, <laughs> some more nice yarn here. Okay, here's another one, the same. That's 100% merino. It's so soft. It's so scarfable. This one is called um, Spring Leaf. That's beautiful. And 240 yards, or 250 yards, I'm sorry. 250 yards at uh, $17.40, that's U.S., um, is good for hand-dyed merino yarn. It's a four-way too. I mean, it's a beautiful yarn. It is soft, very scarful. I mean, it's a nice yarn. <laughs> I like it. And like I said, I opened one time on camera, but I have purchased from them more than once. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I don't know. This is a different collection. I'm not sure if the price is different on this one, but I'll tell you. Let me look real quick. If you give me one second. They have like some specialty yarns and stuff, which I'll show you that too. Um, one of them's really cool, but I'll show you this here. This is their island collection, huh? Could be the same. Could be not. They have different weights too. Uh, like, uh, fingering and stuff, but, uh, I generally do, uh, worsted. Okay. Now this actually says $20 a hank. So this was $20 a hank. That's Canadian. So, uh, that's going to be even less. Uh, we'll see. I'll tell you the price, what it is in the U S that's going to be 1582 a hank U S and this is superwash merino 250 yards but it's solid as you can see it's very very soft i like it i think it's so soft and so pretty and so worth the money i mean unbelievably 
priced for hand dyed yarns. I love it. Evelyn will love that. And then I got another island collection. I thought this this is so soft. It's so soft. Again, fifteen eighty two U.S. That's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to make a cow or something out of this since I have 250 yards. Um, I thought that would make a beautiful cow or uh, infinity scarf. I love that uh, gray. That's so beautiful. I love this yarn store. I really do. Um, okay, so that one's called, oh, that one's called Gray Tweed in their island collection. And this one is called Peony Rose in their island collection. They're both four weight yarns. Remember, they do have them in um, smaller weights, but I'm not big on the smaller weights. Now I'm going to show you three more yarns that I got. And these are from their designer, designer yarns. Um, one of them I've had before and one of them I have, or the other two I have not. So let me get them all fixed up here so we can see what's what. Okay, so I've had this one before and I think it's really, really cool. This is a specialty designer yarns and it's 75%, I can't pronounce it, Samoya, it's dog hair. 25% merino and there's 125 yards a hank and it's spun at their mill there in um, Prince Edwards Island um, I've had it before but I did gift it to somebody when I had it so I wanted to get it again I did get um, four hanks of it because uh, there are what I say 125 yards now this is a bit more money because it does have the dog hair in it. Oh my gosh, is it soft though? See that, look at the halo on it. That is so pretty. Mouth clean, very pretty. They only have it in the white because I think the dog is white if I'm correct. Uh, and it is so beautiful. It looks like it's about, yeah, it's a four weight. So I did get four of these because um, I was going to make something for myself. I was going to make something for myself last time I had a scarf set, but I wanted to gift it to somebody else. So I did. And I never got around to buying it again until now. But this is very, very beautiful. Now, this, if you go to their site, the uh, Samoyed uh, Specialty Designer Yarns. Dog hair. It's dog hair. But, you know, they clean it and everything. Um, it's very soft. I mean... It's very beautiful, very beautiful yarn. I liked it when I got it last time, and I like it the same. And this time, I think it has a very uh, pretty halo. It's very soft. You go to the site, it's going to say $30, but that is Canadian dollars, which will run $23.72 US. And that is for hand spun 75% uh, uh, Samoid. I, I know that's a dog and I think it's white, but I can't I don't even know if I'm announcing it right. And 25 cent merino. Um it's very nice. I like this yarn a lot. But like I said, that's I'm keeping that because I had intentions last time to make something myself a hat and a scarf set, but I wanted to give it someone so I got it again. Okay, I'm gonna show you two other yarns that I've never had before. Okay, this is they're from their designer collection. This is 50% Angora and 50% fine merino. 125 yards. Spun at Belfast Mini Mills. So this is a 50 Angora, 50 a Merino blend. It's got a very nice uh, halo on it as well. It's a little bit whiter in color than the uh, dog. Not much. Can you see the difference there? It's a little bit creamier. It's a little bit whiter. Again, very, very soft. The uh, Angora is, and I will... Go ahead and get you a price on that. It might be the same price. Um, no, it, it's going to show up as $25 a hank. Um, and that would be Canadian, which would make it $19.78 a hank U.S. For 125 yards of 50 Angora, 50 Merino. I really don't think that's a bad price. I've bought 100% uh, French Angora before. And I paid uh, 15, $16, $17, I don't remember what it was, for 33 yards. Little bitty balls of it. I mean, so I don't think this is a bad price at all. But I only did just get one. I'll probably make myself a hat out of it. And then they had one more yarn that I've never had before. It had um, 
a fiber in it that I've everybody is always telling me to try but it's an inexpensive fiber it doesn't have a lot in it but uh we'll look at it so it's going though this is the four weight it's called frost specialty designer yarns worsted so it's a four weight yarn and it runs twenty dollars canadian and which is I've already said it probably 1582 US so this is 70% super fine merino 20% eerie silk and 10% quivet if you've ever seen heard of quivet I think I'm saying that right I may not be saying it right but um it's very uh expensive I mean super expensive if you buy 100% I like so expensive I won't even buy it at a hundred percent I um because it's too much money um you get a little bit of amount for and for like um a big dollar amount and that's fine for people that buy that it's supposed to be a really good yarn and one day I would like to try it but right now I just can't I, I can't do it right now I never really pulled the trigger on that although I would like to try it but this is only 10 percent um but it's very nice it's uh 125 yards hand spun there it's a four weight yarn they only got the one collar very soft very nice i like it i do like it a lot and you can't beat the price on that so yes that is beautiful that's it that's all i got i like everything that i got and i just think they have some of the most prettiest unique some, their yarns are really unique their uh, specialty designer yarns are super unique i mean dog hair and stuff that's super cool and I, but like I, i've had that before so their hand dyes are so pretty and so i mean like extremely fair in price i think especially since you know their hand dyed there and hand spun there stuff like that i love them and they're so beautiful their colors are so beautiful they have a lot more colors than this and you can get them in a smaller weight if you want it might be price difference might be different i'm not sure and i really like these uh the island collection it's very very soft too very pretty a lot of yardage in them all of them 250 yards besides the specialty yards in these uh hand dyed hanks and stuff these two go well together don't they Ooh, yeah i think they do anyways that's it how i mean this shop comes highly recommended for me so i like i I probably said that a hundred times already, but they do. And uh, so I'll put a link to them below. Remember, I'm not affiliated with them. I just uh, like to spotlight sometimes smaller places that have great yarn. And um, I really like their shop. Um, everything about it. They have unique yarns. They have reasonably priced yarns. Their shipping is reasonable. Um, it's relatively fast since I live in the U.S. and it's, it's in Canada. I said it only took about a week and... Um, I have bought from them several times and I will continue to probably buy from them. Um, excellent place. So um, I hope you enjoyed talking uh, yarn with me because I always enjoy talking yarn with you. So uh, I love you all and I'll see you guys on my next video. Okay. Bye guys. Take care. Okay. Stay safe.